Breast cancer and prostate cancer have parallels, but there's an extreme skewing in where the money goes for research. How are they parallel? Well, first let's talk about what tends to cause breast cancer. Sure, you can take the route of the, uh, the toxins in the water, the poor quality food. Sure, but what really antagonizes it? The use of chemical birth control while the body is still developing. It distorts the pubic development of the human, the adrenal system, the hormone system, and her menstrual cycle, throwing everything out of whack leading to breast cancer down the road. So how are prostate cancer and breast cancer parallel? Well, let's start with what happens when those two get out of control, become unmanageable. Prostate cancer causes the urination of things you shouldn't be urinating, we'll put it that way. But it also causes serious issues with performance. Uh, <clears throat> when the prostate doesn't work right, you can't get an erection. And without an erection, you cannot assert yourself as a male. Yeah, that sounds really bigoted, but I'll get to that in a second. Women, when breast cancer gets out of control, can lose part of a breast, all of a breast, or both. Now, why is damage to the prostate and loss of the breast a parallel? Well, these are the sources of our gender identities. You see, while well, most males don't get prostate cancer till they're well into their 60s at the earliest. The most virile, masculine, self-assured man at that age when he gets prostate cancer and it causes his genitalia to fail him, loses a very important piece of himself and is never the same person again. He literally feels like less of a man. His identity is lost because he cannot perform. A woman, on the same note, what is a woman's primary sexual characteristic to derive a man? Sure, you know, it's access to the vagina, but what's her selling point? What's her selling point? What does she put on the table? What does she prop up on a shelf and present to get you to come into shop? Her breasts. Her breasts are her identity. Girls, when they're developing as teens, if someone, if they're a late bloomer, or if they feel they're undersized compared to the other girls, it does a wall up to their self-esteem, just like, you know, boys, when they're developing, if they're mocked for having a small unit, it does something to their self-esteem negatively. So a woman losing part of a breast, all of a breast, or both, does to her self-image, her personal value as a human being, what damage to the prostate does to a man's well-being. And yet, our well-being is still somehow completely and utterly sacrificed. She at 65 gets breast cancer and needs to keep her breasts, but him at 65, oh, your dick doesn't work? Good. We don't care. I'll do the research today and add the links below as far as how it medically works out, but... There, there's something very wrong and sadistically solipsistic, in my opinion, that it's okay for men to 
completely lose their identity as a man, but if she even gets an inkling that she's going to lose her identity as a woman, well, that's a different story.